Um, why are you hopping up and down? I'm pretending to be a bunny, my dear Plato. Um, okay, but why are you pretending to be a bunny? Because it is almost that time of year again. Oh, you mean spring? No, silly, Easter. Oh, of course, I love Easter. And that is why today we are going to find out as much as possible on holiday worship. Yay, we're, we're doing what? Come along. There must be someone who knows something about holiday worship. Ah, excuse me there. <gasps> ah, oh no, not that guy. Dave, you're on your own. I'm out of here. Uh, uh, well, well bye, Cy. Um, you talking to me? Yes, indeed. I was wondering if you could tell us about how awesome holiday worship is. Like, how great it is when the Christmas trees sparkle, or how the candles glimmer on Hanukkah, or how delicious chocolate eggs are on Easter. Oh, so crazy. That has nothing to do with holiday worship. It doesn't? Yeah, I agree with the guinea pig there. All of that stuff is great, and I love chocolate eggs as much as the next kid, but holiday worship is about celebrating the goodness of God. You see, Jewish for Jewish people, holidays are holy days, which are days that God has set aside for us to be happy and rest. Like Hanukkah! No, Jewish people celebrate more than just Hanukkah. They do? Like what? Well, my family is Jewish, and one of my favorite holidays is called the Feast of the Tabernacles. During the Feast of the Tabernacles, we get to go camping for seven days and eat a lot of yummy food. This is because <clears throat> that holiday is reminding us of the 40 years that our ancestors spent in the wilderness on the way to the Promised Land. Oh, that sounds cool! Well, it is fun, and I like to go camping with my family. The one my older sister likes is called Yom Kippur. What? And that's a little more intense. On Yom Kippur, we spend the day confessing our sins to God. If you're old enough, you are even supposed to fast, which means that you can't eat any food or drink any liquid for a whole day. Oh, that sounds a little dry. Yeah. Luckily, I'm still too young to do that, but all of these holidays are there to remind us about our great and powerful God. And that's what Easter and Christmas are. They're the Christian holiday worship to celebrate the goodness of God as well. Now that's a lot of holidays. Thank you for your time, Dave. Plato, we must leave immediately. Why? There's bound to be some sort of holiday happening somewhere right now, and I don't want to miss out on a single minute. But it doesn't work like, oh, not again. Well, kids, do you think that so crazies will finally get the point and learn more about what the holidays really are? Yes. No. We hope so. No. We have someone else who would like to talk to us, though. Can anyone think of who Chester. that might be? Chester. What? Who? Chester! Oh, well, let's go look and see if we can find Chester. Bye-bye! Hello, -bye. everybody! Hi, Hi, Chester! How are you guys doing today? You need your handy dandy No, someone's ahead of the game. That's right, it's time for another Bible verse, and I'm going to need my handy dandy Bible. Bible. There it okay. is. Let's see. Today it is turned to Psalm 118, 24. And it says, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, I know that verse. Yeah, it's on my wall in my classroom. Yeah, it's a very well known verse. My grandma doggy used to say it all the time. It was one of her favorites. Okay, let's say this verse together then. This is the day the Lord has made. The Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's right. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118. 